focused now, is everybody should be I, I think I think Anthony Joshua is the perfect fighter for him because height wise it's the same pretty much and you know, everything becomes the same when them two fight because the fact they will become that who, who the strongest and which look like it favors uh, Anthony Joshua. Yeah, the, 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 the resume of Tyson Fury is Vladimir Klitschko, Deontay Wilder, who, regardless of what you say, is still, there's some doubt about how good that man is. Derek Chisora years back, and just Dillian White now. AJ beat Dillian White, Vladimir Klitschko. But there's two of them, right? So now you're down to Derek Chisora and Deontay Wilder. So couple that with AJ, with Andy Ruiz, with Joseph Parker, who was a world champion at the time, uh, with Alexander Povetkin, who was a mandatory challenger. Stick in the two, even if you want to stick in the two defeats. Um, to Andy Ruiz and Alexander Usyk as well. He's fighting in this time. He, he's, I believe the resume is in, not comparable. Yeah, I don't think his not holding a world title would mean anything. But if he fights Usyk again, which I don't think is wise for him to do right away, and gets beat, and then we make a... And Tyson beats Wilder, and after another fight, we make a... Tyson fight uh, with Usyk, and Tyson beats Usyk. Uh, it's a very hard sell, Joshua and uh, Fury at that point. Not that it can't be done, because uh, there's tremendous in interest in both of these guys, uh, particularly in UK. Wilder fought Fury. Fury surprised me a lot. He impressed me a lot. So that makes me believe that Fury might have the edge over over Anthony Joshua. But we cannot, you know, take anything away from Anthony Joshua. He's a terrific fighter, he's experienced, very skilled, probably the more polished, the, the, the fighter who does things maybe the, the more correct way, you know. Uh, but that, you know, he's also vulnerable at times. You know, he's been hurt, he's been dropped, where Fury can take advantage of that. Fury's a big dude, strong dude. You know, like I said, he really impressed me and surprised me when he fought Wilder. So, I mean, it, it's almost a toss-up fight at that at that point. My I do give him the edge. Not as big an edge as I did give him initially, because, I mean, obviously, you know, when AJ lost his, to Ruiz and then you see Tyson slowly coming back to the forefront, you know, we're making the headlines, you know, with his, his draw against um, Deontay Wilder. And then when he won the second fight, you know, I thought to myself, I thought he just... I think he's just got the edge in every department, me. But then you saw another dynamic, to um, another change to um, AJ's style, where he uh, he went in there and changed his tactics. He's thinking about his attacks a little bit more, and you know he showed what I think we forgot that you know you don't get an Olympic gold medal, you don't get an undisputed world title by not having an exceptional IQ.